Hello and welcome to Yenna Investment Academy. Today we are going to discuss about bitcoins. We will try to simplify the concept, discuss its key features and how you can invest in them. Bitcoin is a digital currency created in 2009. Yes, it is a currency and is completely digital. There are no physical bitcoins, only balances kept on a public ledger in the cloud. that along with all bitcoin transaction is verified by a massive amount of computing power so basically bitcoins are just set of few numbers or codes backed by complicated mathematical problems which is reflected on the public ledger you hold in a digital wallet so if you own some bitcoins then it will be reflected on the ledger of your digital wallet and that is all and the only proof you have of owning this currency Bitcoins look something like this. Bitcoin was invented by a mysterious person or group under pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto in year 2009. Satoshi Nakamoto published a paper named Bitcoin which talked about need of a truly digital currency which is not under anyone's control. Bitcoin is an open source software. This means that no person, company or country owns this network just like no one owns the internet. The system is peer to peer that is users can transact directly without an intermediary like a bank, a credit card company or a clearing house. Something similar to cash transactions today. Now an important question arises. How can a set of codes become a global currency? Before explaining that let me first explain what are the factors which determines if a commodity or any product can become a currency currency should be durable rare divisible and portable if all these factors satisfy then that thing can become a currency it started with the precious metals to currency notes today and maybe the bitcoin in future So our currency notes and coins are durable as they do not get spoiled for long time and can be exchanged from the bank they are rare as they are limited notes printed by regulatory authorities like RBI they are easily divisible and surely portable similarly for digital transactions that is transactions by credit card or debit card their durability that is security and accounts is maintained by rbi and credit or debit card bank or payment company like visa or mastercard rest factors are similar to currency notes now literally anything can become a currency if these four parameters are sorted and bitcoin has proved that bitcoin is durable as these mathematical codes are secured by bitcoin network where multiple users verify each transaction and record them in a public ledger called blockchain now since all transactions are public and can be seen by everyone therefore there is negligible chance of fraud and we will discuss this in much detail in our other video on how bitcoin works bitcoin is rare as only 21 million bitcoins will ever be created and out of them almost 80% are already created and rest will be created in another 123 years So basically bitcoin program is designed in such a way that bitcoins always remain rare and experts say it cannot be altered this bitcoin creation is called bitcoin mining where bitcoins are created as an incentive for users to verify the transactions we will discuss more in detail in our later videos bitcoin is divisible like 1 rupee is divided into 100 paisa one bitcoin can be divided into 100 million satoshis and you can even spend one satoshi on bitcoin network bitcoin is of course portable as you can send it to anyone anywhere anytime in the world now let's discuss few key features of bitcoin first is blockchain blockchain is the foundational technology of bitcoin every transaction in the bitcoin world generates two parts one is public key second is private key public key goes to a public lock called blockchain and the private key remains with your wallet thus making all your transactions anonymous so a blockchain is basically a global running tally of every bitcoin transaction think of blockchain as an open and distributed digital ledger 
that is used to verify ownership of goods and to verify financial transactions every time a transaction is completed using bitcoin computers distributed across the network validate the inputs and the outputs only the wallet ids of the buyers and sellers are revealed in these logs and no other identity second is fast p2p network bitcoin transactions are typically verified and completed within 10 minutes so you can send money to anyone in the world without access to banking system with just an internet access within 10 minutes no double spend problem double spending is a problem unique to digital currencies because digital information can be easily reproduced with digital currency there is a risk that the holder could make a copy of digital token and send it to the merchant or any other party while retaining the original with blockchain technology and open source character bitcoin network essentially works by using individuals greed for the collective good this is a network of tech savvy users called miners who keep the system honest by pouring their computing power into blockchain this blockchain prevents rogues from spending the same bitcoin twice and the miners are rewarded for their efforts by being gifted with the occasional bitcoin and this is how new bitcoins are created as well currently transaction fees is charged by banks and financial institutions on every digital transaction and it can go up to 1 to 2% on each transaction as well but with bitcoins is people verifying your transactions are getting new bitcoins as reward this zero transaction fees you have an option to give a small transaction fees for faster processing of your transaction however in future when no more bitcoins will be able to get created then transaction fees will be charged but it will be negligible to what we are used to paying today next important feature is bitcoin is a truly decentralized currency those within the industry understand that one of the bitcoin's most important feature and perhaps its true core innovation is its decentralized structure bitcoin has no central control no central repository of information no central management and crucially no central point of failure next is it is available to everyone to transact through bitcoin you just need internet nothing else irrespective of your credit history your background you can open a bitcoin account and start transacting with anyone across the world this truly is a global currency and gives the power in hand of the user rather than a bank government or credit card company next feature is anonymity bitcoin is often described as an anonymous currency because it is possible to send and receive bitcoins without giving any personally identifying information however it is not completely anonymous but pseudo anonymous sending and receiving bitcoin is like writing under a pseudonym if an author's pseudonym is ever linked to his identity everything he ever wrote under that pseudonym will not be linked to him but experts have way to achieve almost complete anonymity and there are other side of experts who have ways to remove that anonymity in the bitcoin network next is transparency everything that happens in the bitcoin world is trackable thanks to the way that algorithm is structured every bitcoin based transaction is logged in the blockchain this leads to a level of transparency that may surprise some bitcoin users if you publish your bitcoin address on your website then everyone in the world will be able to know what your bitcoin balance is where you have spent your bitcoins and from where you got them next we will little touch upon how to buy bitcoin bitcoins are stored in special digital wallets in your computer or mobile device so once you have installed a bitcoin wallet on your computer or mobile device it will generate your first bitcoin address and you can start making transaction using your bitcoin address to another bitcoin address after you have transferred some bitcoin to another address this information will be broadcasted to the entire bitcoin network and will be validated and confirmed by the network within a few minutes mostly within 10 minutes so in this way you can transfer bitcoins to your friend or to a vendor to buy certain goods or services but currently there are very few shops who accepts bitcoins in india there are several bitcoin exchanges that allow people to buy and sell bitcoins using indian and other currencies as well and some of these are zeppay coinbase and coindesk etc 
Now let's discuss why there is so much interest in Bitcoin these days and this graph shows why. Currently one Bitcoin, yes one Bitcoin is worth around 3200 US dollars which is around 2.1 lakh rupees which was around 500 US dollar just in May 2014 as was valued in cents in year 2010. Due to this extraordinary value growth, many investors are looking at Bitcoins as alternative investment option. Should you ride this roller coaster ride or not? Let's discuss that in next video. If you have. That is all we have on this topic. If you have any question, please do write in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Have a great time ahead. Jai Hind.